This is one question taken from uh, chapter polynomial based on factorization. So the question says factorize. Uh, in the first part, we have 8x cube plus two, under root 27y cube. As you must be knowing that uh, factorization means writing in the form of product. So we can see that we also have a, in the uh, question in the form of a cube plus b cube or say x cube plus y cube in this fifth identity, but we will not take this. Why? Because we have to write the answer in the form of product as you must be knowing that factorization is writing the term or splitting them in the form of its product. So we'll be going for this identity that is the seventh in the order written in the screen. So let's uh, write on the question first. In the first part, we have this uh, eight x cube plus whole under root 27 y cube. We know that I have to write as a cube. So eight is nothing but two x two cubes. So I'll write this as two x whole cube. And this is under root 27. You must be aware that under root 20, three into under root three into under root three is under root 27. So we'll be writing this as under root three y cube. Now, once we got uh, this, what is x and y for us, then we will apply this identity. The identity says that it should be x plus y, where x for us is this and y for us is this. So that is x plus y, a bracket start. Then the square of the first term, which is 2x squared, minus first term multiplied by the second term and plus the square of the second term. This is 3y, the whole square. Now, we will simplify it a, a bit. Let's say I can write this 2x whole square as 4x square. This is 2 under root 3 xy and you know that root 3 square is 3 is 3y square so root 3 square is root 9 under root 9 which is 3 and this is the factorized form of the first part now let's see how the second part can be done which is again based on the same identity Now, in the second part, we have this as 125 x whole cube and then 64 y cube. Now, this one is based on the identity that is x minus y. Right, just a second. So, we have this as the suitable identity. As we know, in case of factorization, we have to write the answer in the product form and therefore we'll go for this eighth identity in the order written. So first I need to write them in terms of a cube clearly 125 is 5 cubes so it becomes 5x whole cube 64 that is 4 cube is 64 this is 64y cube and then if you solve it further what I can see I can write this as x plus y that means the first term sorry x minus y first term minus the second term bracket start square of the first term which is 5x square plus times you should know that in case of minus identity is plus xy so plus 5 times x multiplied by 4y well, be careful, we don't take this minus sign as the minus sign is taken care by the identity and plus the square of the second term, which is 4y whole square. In the next part, or in the next step, simply we'll write 5x square as 25x square. 5 into 4 is 20, so it's 20 times xy and plus 4 squared is 16, so it is 16 y squared. So we have two factor, one is this, another is this. Similarly, for the first part, we factorized it into two factors, and these are its two factors. 